Hi everybody, it's Diane from Tattered Edges Design here with a junk journal flip through. This is a customer request, so it is already spoken for, but the customer asked for a flip through and it, I have found too doing these, um, it's good reference for me because I can't remember everything I put in a journal and I'm not taking a picture of every little detail. So these are good reference for me too. So this is a uh, themed Rudolph Valentino. It is six inches by eight inches, 56 pages, counting front and back. It's scrap of paper sewn to fabric. So on the front here is a magazine image of Rudolph from the, you know, the 20s. I did a little collaging. There's some gessoing, some rubber stamping, a little fabric, a couple postage stamps. Back is plain. So inside we have a large pocket with a journaling card. It's Son of the Sheik. I added a few gold stars. Back is plain. Um, yeah, all the images, let me say right off you know, the bat, are from the internet. So this is uh, Rudolph's book plate. So I added another paper down here for the new owner to write his or her name. So this is a coloring book page. This is rubber stamping on scrapbook paper. It has to do with Italy, which of course has to do with Rudolph. Ribbon, scrapbook paper, butterfly. I believe that's probably a magazine ad. Uh, this is a, a company business, uh, you know, letterhead paper, but it is graph. Fabric, envelope I made out of magazine paper. My gray tickets that I put in almost every journal. It's another image of Rudolph with some scrapbook paper, washi tape. This is washi tape on the side too. This is another, uh, some sort of business letter, but it has a map on it. Scrap of paper, ledger with fabric. With Rudolph, of course. Scrap of paper, this is a math textbook page. Little fa uh, scrap of paper, flippy. Just white paper there for extra writing space. This is the rubber stamp. This is scrap of paper too. Vintage book page with a little fabric. It's another image of Rudolph. This is a journaling card I made featuring his home, Falcon Lair. Some scrap of paper or magazine it's snippet there, back is blank. This is a heavier drawing paper. Scrap of paper there. It's Rudolph, one of his horses at his stable. It's washi tape top and bottom. That's a um, cut from a actual black and white negative. This is a stamp album page. Scrap of paper with some added postage stamps. It flips up. It's a tag. Rudolph. Scrap of paper. Back is blank. This is a lighter weight vintage drawing paper with scrap of paper, magazine snippet, fabric. Scrap of paper. This is coffee dyed. Notebook. Washi fabric there. This is a uh, scrap of paper. It's like a craft type. It's rubber stamping uh, scrapbook. It's just scrap of paper, but I thought the color matched well in here. I added some washi tape. Get in there. This is a large image of a poster for Cobra. I added little gold papers around. This is um, just an old negative. This is uh, was in the same first Rudolph journal I showed. It's a paper doll set that was um, issued in the 20s. And there's Rudolph. This is uh, stenciling with ink. And that's a period uh, scar band that is embossed. It's pretty cool. It's the other side of the scrap of paper. It's another scrap of paper journaling card. I added some extra paper to washi. Rubber stamp, scrap of paper. I doodled a little border around. This is the other side of the coffee dyed washi tape. This is a printed trim. It's not fabric, it's paper. Um, fabric, little music snippet, little envelope I made with just a plain, plain paper in there. That's scrap of paper, believe it or not. Um, another picture of Rudolph. This is the stamp album page, which, yeah, I didn't have one for Italy, but his mother was French, so I put it in France. 
It's a little faux postage stamp I made with Rudolph's picture. Washi tape, another postage stamp. A little bit of fabric, rubber stamping. This is a scrap of paper pocket with some trim. An altered playing card I made. Put some paper on the back. Uh, this is just a little mini booklet, plain papers in there. This is a scrap of paper too, and I added the writing to look like, you know, chalkboard there. Showing a Valentino marathon tonight. This flips out. Rubber stamp, washi, uh, scrap of paper, fabric. This is Rudolph and Alan Asimova from Camille. And yeah, I should give credit to the... Um, photographer Arthur Rice. He had beautiful pictures at the time. That's one of his. Scrap of paper, washi, flips out a little bit there. This is a poem from Rudolph's 1923 poetry book. Scrap of paper, scrap of paper. This is a little snippet I just came across and looking for other things. It was off junk mail and it, it's saying this company has a service to uh, you know, translate for you from Italian. I thought that was interesting. Washi, the other side of the envelope, has two German translation cards in there, and a vintage playing card. This is just a magazine word and scrap of paper. Yeah, I made this envelope um, prior to this journal, but for obvious reasons, I thought it looked good in here. It's another lobby card that flips up. Fabric. Scrapbook, washi. Uh, this is just a border out of an old book. This was another, you know, I was rummaging for something else. It's scrap of paper and I saw RV together. Well, it's gotta go in. This is vintage lace, the other side of that Italy themed scrap of paper. Coloring book. Rudolph. Magazine, washi. Another pocket and a, another journaling card, which um, I added the blue with paint. I thought that was kind of cool. Back is blank. And the back once again. And there's the front. Oh, I didn't point out. I did make these are um, just paper beads on this thing. You know, the. If I didn't point out, it's five hole pamphlet stitch. It's the tails. All right. Well, thanks for watching and letting me reference this new journal. Have a great day out there.